Rasulullah. While I was listening to all the nasheed in the hall, in the mosque, and I was and I was listening to you, the impression that you got today, I was. I was in a different world. To be very honest, I was thinking about my speech. In two and a half weeks' time, this is what I was thinking about. Uh, about. But when you look at the kids today, and when you look at what you're going to see tomorrow. And Sister uh, Maryam and the other sister reciting Quran. If you make the dhikr is Allah, the fikr is Allah, the mushahada, what you see is Allah, what you hear is Allah, what you want to do is for Allah. What you stand for is for Allah. What you reflect is to spread the message of Allah. The love is Muhammad. The care is for Muhammad The direction is for Muhammad Because Muhammad is the last prophet that Allah has said. You can go no wrong, can do no wrong, and you'll ever be elevated to the status higher than the status of angels, closer to the status of prophets and prophecies. Because prophets could be sent by Allah that we know, and Allah can choose some of you that He knows. But the way is to make Allah as a focal point, to spin around Him as a central point of knowledge, of power, of guidance, of stability for humanity. And take Muhammad as a teacher. I was looking at the kids and at all of you, and I was remembering how did we start? Start with nothing. And where we are, we are with something, but we are with a lot of things. What we need to do, keep going, keep going, never stop. Never stop. Like Hazrat Abu Ayyub al Ansari, who went out to Constantinople in the, at, the end of the, at the beginning of the second century or the end of the first century to try to apply the hadith of the Prophet to see the conquest of Constantinople at the age of 90. Age of 90. Well, I tell you, by Jikum don't throw yourself into. The vain, the destruction, to kill yourself. You know when you do what? When you sit doing nothing. When you sit doing nothing, don't do it. If we sit doing nothing, because we are old, that means that we are throwing our health and self, our health and self destruction. That's what Sayyidina Abu Ansari taught us. And whenever you go to Istanbul nowadays, you go to Abu Ayyub al Ansari mosque and his grave, and everybody goes there in the respect and dignity of a 90 years old man went out actually to try to see how can he, at his age, implement the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, at that time. Allah honored him, and they became like a mazar now for all of us to remember, not just to worship, not to worship. To remember, actually, at the age of 90, to travel from Sham, from Syria, to Turkey, Constantinople, on a horseback, when he is hit at the age of 90. So, don't let the age stop you. Don't let the health stop you. Don't 
the, the, let the fatigue stop you. But ask Allah to extend your life, to give you extension for hundreds and hundreds of years. And if you live this time, you will do again and again and again and again what you wanted to do for Allah. Allah will ask the shuhada, the martyrs, who will be their souls, arwahum, atkun fi fi hawasil, tuyur, latir, taht al jannah. Their spirits will be inside their hearts, the hearts of the birds, since the hearts of birds flying underneath heaven. And when Allah will tell them what you want, you know what they said? We want to go back to earth to fight for the cause of Allah, to be martyred again and again and again and again, be tortured again and again and again and again for your sake. He said, enough is enough. You have done your duty. Now your souls should rest in peace and in heaven forever. You should be like those martyrs, like our Lady Sumaya, the one who stood stronger than a mountain, higher than the sky against shirk and kufr. And she was refusing to bend her back down and to bend her neck down or to accept what the kuffar is torturing her, killing her and killing her husband and torturing her son. The greatest lady in Islam in history are Muslim. Khadija, Fatima, Asya, and the fourth one, Maryam. The greatest woman in humanity are four women, icons, and you could be sisters, those women. Stand for the role models that Muhammad talked about them. That Quran talked about them. Don't stand for rock for, for role models that we don't know who are they. Solid role models died thousands of years ago and today we're remembering them forever. Thank you very much. And I hope you make me laugh. You stop you stop clapping or I will sing for you. Sing. <laughs> Enough is enough. <laughs> Keep the soaking for the for the what the, for the gala. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lola. Ah, thank you, Lola. I call her Lola because she is my Lola. Ah, Lola, just a, a nickname. No, I know. I can't remember what it was that you said. I see. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.